Hello, welcome to the channel. Today we will be looking at two popular oil analysis companies, Blackstone Laboratories and Speed Diagnostics. First we will talk about why you want an oil analysis. Then we will take a look at the process. And finally we will take a close look at an oil analysis report from both Blackstone and Speed Diagnostics using the same oil sample and compare our findings. So what are the benefits to an oil analysis? Number one, it can monitor engine health. Oil analysis detects wear metals such as iron, aluminum, copper that indicate engine component wear. Kind of similar to a doctor taking a blood sample. Used oil analysis provides a health report on the engine without having to open the engine. You can optimize oil change intervals. Instead of relying on generic mileage intervals like 5,000 or 6,000 or 10,000 miles, an oil analysis helps determine the actual condition of the oil. This ensures you're not changing it too early or too late, saving you time and money. It can detect harmful contaminants, such as coolant, which can indicate head gasket leaks or other cooling system issues, fuel, which suggests incomplete combustion or leaking injectors, or dirt and dust, which points to problems with the air filtration. By catching issues early, you can prevent major repairs down the road. If you frequently drive in extreme conditions, such as towing, high performance or dusty environments, an oil analysis can confirm if the engine oil is handling the stress or adjustments are needed. You can evaluate the quality of the oil. Is the brand you're using doing its job? A used oil analysis is great for used car purchases. Before buying a used car, an analysis can provide insights into the engine's internal condition, helping you to avoid vehicles with hidden problems. Overall, oil analysis is a proactive approach to vehicle maintenance helping you make informed decisions and avoid unexpected surprises. It's particularly useful for those who want to maximize your car's longevity or performance. Taking a look at the Blackstone Laboratories website, a lot of good information here. Just like we talked about, explains uh, why you want to do an oil analysis. Sampling procedures with videos. the uh, standards that they use for the different uh, testing methods, the report explanation. Here you can take a look at uh, what these different wear materials are coming from inside your engine. Along with the contaminants as well. To get started, just simply request a free test kit, fill out your information, and once you've pulled a oil sample and you're ready to send it in for analysis, simply come back and make your payment then. For a standard oil sample analysis at the time of this recording is $35 from Blackstone. Moving over to the Speed Diagnostics website, similar layout similar type of information. The biggest difference I would say is that he wants you to pay up front for the old test kit and it is at the time of this recording $59.95 so a little more. So here are two sample reports Speed Diagnostics on the left and Blackstone Laboratories on the right. Speed Diagnostics being a little more colorful but they both show the same type of information. Taking a closer look at the reports, the elements measured are almost identical, but the speed diagnostics does not measure for silver or barium. With that said, barium is a detergent metal element added to oil that is no longer allowed in North America due to toxic concerns. And silver is still occasionally implemented on a bearing surface, but is not very common in the US and is susceptible to corrosion from zinc additives. Looking at the properties of the oil measured, speed diagnostic does not measure for the SUS viscosity, flash point, nor the TBN or TAN. They do offer an oxidation value. I'll let you go to the website for an explanation of these properties and see if they're of value to you.
So here is some data that I pulled from a previous oil analysis that I had completed where I was comparing Mobile One versus AMSOIL. And if you'd like to check out that video, I'll leave a link to it at the end of this one. But basically what I did, I took the same oil sample and I sent it to both places. I was very curious to see how they would compare. So looking at the Mobile One sample here, comparing the wear elements and keeping in mind the margin of error, you can see the numbers compare very closely. Again, this is parts per million. With the only one being a little different is the tin level. And it kind of shows up over here on the AMSOIL sample as well. For some reason, speed diagnostics and their method of testing is picking up tin where blackstone is not. Now, tin is typically found in your bearings, heat exchanger cores, and thrust washers. If you are having bearing issues, your lead and copper elements will show high as well. Coming down here to the oil additives, again, these are additives that are added to the base oil to improve its performance. With the Mobile One sample, there were some considerable differences between the two Blackstone and Speed Diagnostic reports. Here you can see the calcium was quite a bit different, magnesium, the phosphorus was, was a little closer, and the biggest one being the zinc. And that showed up over here with the AMSOIL analysis as well. 757 for Blackstone versus 923 for the speed diagnostics. And then contaminants such as fuel, antifreeze, and water were all similarly reported. So what about turnaround time? I've used Blackstone quite a bit and I can tell you on average it's been about two to three weeks. Um, once or twice it took a little longer. When it comes to speed diagnostic, I've used them twice now. The first time Turnaround was rather quick, and like a week and a half, which surprised me. But then the second one took about three to four. So which oil analysis company should you go with? Well, I'm going to let you make your own decision on that. Hopefully in this video I shared with you the differences between the two. And hopefully that helps you make a better decision. If you enjoyed this video and you do find it helpful, please like it, share it with your friends. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and appreciate your time and thanks for watching.